Daniel Day-Lewis in Phantom Thread. Daniel Day-Lewis has been here before. Daniel Kalua has not. So you guys coming up from the city? Yeah, we're just heading up for the weekend. Can I see your license? In his first lead role in a film, the 28-year-old Londoner, who rose to prominence in the TV comedy drama series Skins, has been nominated for Best Actor for the horror film Get Out, taking on the likes of three-time winner Day Lewis and The Darkest Hours' Gary Oldman. Today, in a statement, Kalua said, I'm walking around in a daze. I'm so proud of Team Get Out. What a ride. What an experience. I don't even understand. Nothing makes sense. I cannot believe this, honestly. <laughs> Amongst a host of nominations for Britons, Sally Hawkins has a nod for Best Actress with the fantasy The Shape of Water, which has 13 nominations in all, the most of any film. He's coming back. Christopher Nolan is up for Best Director for his film Dunkirk, one of its eight nominations. A battle of a different kind has also been recognised by the Oscars Academy. I want her to speak. The British short film The Silent Child tells the story of a profoundly deaf girl struggling to communicate until a social worker teaches her sign language. Six-year-old Maisie Sly from Swindon, who's never acted before and is herself deaf, plays the lead. The Silent Child. She and her family and the filmmakers were stunned at their nomination. Rachel Shenton, who wrote the film after her own father became deaf, they merely wanted to highlight the struggles deaf children face. I saw firsthand the huge effects deafness has on a person and a family. So I've just seen the struggles that deaf people and deaf children face, which finally um, gave me the impetus to put pen to paper, I guess. And write an Oscar-nominated film. <laughs> that sentence is so weird. Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah. They won't be the only first-timers on Oscars night. Greta Gerwig, with her first film, Lady Bird, has a Best Director nomination. After controversy at the lack of gender and racial diversity in previous years, this year's already looks different, the winners mostly unpredictable. Though some nominees will just be overwhelmed to simply be there. Nina Nanar, News at 10. <laughs>